our today's lesson we are going to look at physics electric circuits this is activity 01 then we are looking at the corrections of that activity that are start this is our activity now the question says or the scenario says let us set up a circuit diagram below the EMF of each cell is 1.5 volts. So we can update our diagram as we are reading the scenario. So we can see that we have uh, four cells and then one cell with has the EMF of 1.5 volts. You should keep that in mind. Each bulb A, B, and C have resistance of 3, 4, and 5. So we locate these three bulbs. The first one is A, C is it as 3 ohms, B it is 4 ohms, then C it is 5 ohms. Then looking at the diagram, you can see that the circuit is open. This symbol represents a switch that is open. So it's a broken circuit. It's not a closed circuit. Looking at the first question. Oh, by the way, before we go to the questions, we can analyze the diagram quickly. We can see that we have three voltmeters. The first one, V1, is this one, which is connected across the cells. The second one, V2, is connected across uh, bulb B. And then the last one is connected across bulb C. Now, looking at the type of connection, we can see that we have this parallel connection here, which is A and B. And then we have C, which is connected in series. That is the data that we have. We can go ahead and look at the questions. 2.2.1. Calculate the equivalent resistance. The equivalent resistance, effective resistance, Sometimes the question will specify to say, calculate the effective resistance on the parallel connection. Then you are going to calculate only the resistance of this parallel connection. But in this case, they're saying equivalent resistance. It means we are calculating the total resistance, which is RT. So to find RT, we need to add RC. RC is bulb number C. Actually, it's bulb C, not bulb number C, plus R parallel, which is the combination of B and A. So our first task, we need to find R parallel. We know that the equation is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. We can go ahead and say 1 over RA, 1 over RB. Let me use another workspace so that everything becomes clear 1 over r1 plus or we said ra plus 1 over rb then it's 1 over r parallel it's equals to 1 over ra is 3 plus rb is 4 then we have 1 over r parallel it's equals to 7 over 12. Then from here, R parallel is equal to 12 over 7 ohms. Then from here, we can go ahead and calculate our R total. So you said R total is RC plus R parallel. Then R total is equal to C is 5 plus 12 over 7. This will give us 47 over 7 ohms. Then rounding this off, we are going to get 6.71 ohms. This is 2.2.1. Let us go ahead and look at question 2. Point. Okay, question 2.2.2, .2 .2, it's after this scenario. 
switch s is not close determine the reading on v1 so v1 remember volt meter it measures the potential difference so to find the potential difference or the reading on this voltmeter we are simply going to take v1 is equals to one cell multiplied by six no not six actually it's four then you are going to get the reading it simply reads the sum of all emf combined by the four cells and then remember we said one cell is 1.5 so if it's 1.5 you are going to take 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 or you can simply say 1.5 multiplied by 4 so 1.5 multiplied by 4 we have 6 volts so this is the answer to question 2.2.2 6 volts remember this step is very important so when writing this answer you include the step 2.2.3 it says the reading on v3 v3 is this one in order for you to answer this question you need to understand something now we are going to go back and review our lessons lesson 101 and 102 of electric circuits we did cover this let us redraw our electric circuit it's like this we can see we have combination of two connections which is series connection and parallel connection now in this case let us discuss the current and the potential difference now this is the positive terminal this is the negative terminal you know that current will flow from this direction when it reaches this junction it will separate that is why we say this is a parallel connection when it comes here it will add up again and then all the current will go through c by the way this is a b and c so you can see that c is connected in series now after we have calculated or after we calculate this which we found that it was 12 point actually 12 over 7 then we can reconstruct our electric circuit instead of including that uh, parallel connection we can redraw it and say this is 12.7 ohms so we no longer have two i mean yes two connections but we only have one connection which is series connection remember i said it's very simple to work with a single connection which is a series connection compared to a parallel connection or the combination of the two so in this case you can say this is a and b and then this is c if we want to calculate the potential difference which is the reading on v3 remember v3 measures the potential difference across bulb c then we are going to say the equation to calculate the potential difference of the series connection we said is v2 times is equals to v1 plus v2 now v1 is the potential difference across a and b and if we go back to our original circuit which is this one you should know that v1 let's say v1 is 3 a will experience potential difference of 3 volts b will also experience the potential difference of 3 volts you should understand that v1 will flow through a and b that is why on the parallel connection we said v2 time is equals to v1 equals to v2 but in this case you should know that the v1 is not equals to v2 time So to write an equation specifically for this parallel connection, we can say V1, which is this, 
it's equals to VA, which is the potential difference across this, is equals to VB, potential difference across this. You should understand that. So if you want to know, if you want to calculate the potential difference across A, we are going to use this equation. And then after finding A, we know that A is the same potential difference across B because it's parallel connection. So what is happening going to our circuit which we reconstructed, we should know that V total, well, the potential difference from the battery will go this direction. Once it gets here, some of the potential difference will be used here. And then the remaining potential difference will flow through C. And then it will also be used here. And then it goes back here. So meaning that V1 plus V2 will give us V total. So in this case, using this equation, we have this and then we can calculate v1 because looking at our bulbs we can use one of the data but we can see that we don't have the total current looking at ohm's law we said it's r is equals to And then this is V is equals to IR. This equation, if we have V total, we can use I total and R total to find V total, or we can use vice versa. So in this case, we have this, we have this, we are looking for the total current. Then we have six, it's equals to I total, R total, we found that it's 6.71. So we divide both sides by 6.71. Our current is 0 0.89 amperes. This is the total current flowing from the cells to throughout the circuit. Now you said the flow of current Looking at the original circuit, we say the flow of current will flow from this direction. That 0 0.89 amperes flows from the cells and through this direction. When it gets here, it splits, go through, actually it's A and B. Then when it gets here, it combines with add and then you can see that the current flowing through this bulb is the total current which is 0 0.89 so in this bulb we have two values we have the current we have the resistance so we can calculate the potential difference which is measured by v3 then in this case we can say r c is equal to i BC over IC. Then our resistance is 5, VC, and then IC is 0 0.89. Then we multiply both sides by 0 0.89. VC is equal to 5 multiplied by 0 0.89. Then VC is equal to 4.47 volts. So this is the answer to this question 4.47 volts i realized that most of you these questions became difficult for you so i'll prepare another lesson video where we look at more questions because so far we covered the basics now you just need to know how to apply these basics and then you'll understand that's it for this lesson video this is for hula sj thank you very much